Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to uh, play part two of our uh, Super Metroid 100% speedrun. This is Draco Thubin, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, you enjoy. All right, we just got the bomb, and we are about to face our first uh, mini boss, uh, which is the uh, Chozo statue here, or actually a uh, Chorizo. I don't know how. I don't know if that's the right name for it, but. Um, normally you don't want to waste your <laughs> missiles like that, but uh, you can shoot him with missiles, uh, your regular beam, all that stuff hurts him, but he dies pretty quick. Um, you know, eight or nine missiles and he's gone. And uh, we found health and uh, almost on missiles, but we'll get the, uh, the extra one here in a moment. Um, hopefully, there we go. Okay. Now we get to move on to the next area, now that we've got the bomb. Um, now, I'm not going to waste my time trying to do a nice little trick here, because I'm no good at it. But a lot of people can wall jump up that left side there, um, roll into a morph ball at the last moment, and come out uh, on the other side. But I've done it a few times, but I'm not uh, very confident in my ability to do so. And so, um, I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to go up the right side and come back over here to the uh, left and continue on with my game. And try to uh, avoid getting hit by a few of these guys over here. And then get the energy tank and move on. Thankfully, the energy tank fills us up to 100% energy and gives us another 100. So, Alright, these space pirates here, um, you can take out with the, um, the regular missiles. Um, and some beams that you acquire later on, but we don't have that yet, so we gotta use the missiles to take them out. And they're nice enough to give us our missiles back, so we don't have to do any uh, running around looking for new enemies to kill to uh, get some missiles. On those little things, um, if you shoot them, they just spawn little critters, so don't really worry about them, just jump over them. And the other guys flying or uh, walking around in there, you can't kill just yet, so. We're just gonna move on to the new area of Brinstar. We were just in Criteria. Um, we did a little bit in old Brinstar, but now we're going into new Brinstar. Alright, let's uh, go into this first door here and see what we got. Alright, um, looks like the wall's on bottom, so let's go on top. And there's a door that stops us from proceeding any further. But we got a missile tank out of it. So, to see what's behind that door, we're going to use our first uh, trick in the Metroid glitch arsenal called the Mock Ball. What it does is it allows you to move in uh, Morph Ball form um, at the speed of a running Samus. To do this, we are going to run, we're going to jump right before we get through the door, we're going to duck in midair, all while holding jump. Um, at the last moment, we're going to roll down to forward like we're doing a Hadouken uh, from uh, yeah, that, that other video game. Um, and uh, if everything works right, we're going to continue to roll and not bounce and not lose any momentum. So let's try. Okay, we got the jump down, crouch, roll down to forwards, and right through the gates. Open this door up and we get a couple of items. Um, nothing too huge at this point. We get a reserve tank. Uh, what that does is it sits behind all your energy tanks, and we've got to fill it up separately. It doesn't uh, uh, come filled up or anything like that. But it's another 100 energy, and um, if I lose all my energy, automatically I will drain what's in the reserve tanks, or I can use it at my own discretion whenever I feel like it. But Anyway, there's a couple bombable blocks back here, and I roll back too far. But um, And there's another missile base, so we've got uh, three missile packs in these last two rooms. And we're about to get the uh, first um, sequence breaker of the uh, of the game and that will be uh, the super missiles using the super missiles I could very well skip a uh, upcoming mid boss mini boss whatever you want to call him but I'm not going to I want you guys to see him um, and I want you guys to see all the bosses I mean it's part of the game part of the atmosphere and it's fun so we're not going to skip him so let's go ahead and head down here. Um, now you can use regular missiles or super missiles to uh, get through these pink doors. I'm just going to use regular missiles because I want to save my super missiles for the boss fight coming up here. 
Um, most of the enemies that you meet in this game, you don't have to kill them. You just leave, leave be, and not worry about them. Um, except for, of course, the bosses. So you'll see that a lot. Um, at, at times, I'll even run through them and, and get damage just to uh, hurry up and get through an area faster. Speed is the most important thing in this kind of a run. Speed and, and trying to remember where everything is at. So. We're not going to worry about our health too much. We're just going to keep on going through. We don't need that many missiles um, because we're going to be using mostly super missiles during this fight, and we're going to get a few from these guys anyway. So, uh, one, two, three, dead, and now we've got this door opened up, and we've got our first real mini boss on that Ch uh, Chozo statue, Chorizo, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, he was he was a mini boss, but he wasn't really all that much, so uh, I don't really count him. But he gets us something, um, gets us this, we're, he's supposed to get us the super missiles, but I'll show you how you can get those without beating him, um, much later in the game, when you come back through this area, which you will do. Okay, um, got him with one super missile thus far, and if you stay next to the wall, you don't get hit, um, unlike what I'm doing, which is getting hit, um. As he gets hit more and more, he speeds up, and he gets darker in color. Uh, right before he's dead, he will be very dark in color, uh, right before he explodes. If you're using just normal missiles, if you didn't do the sequence break like I did, um, you can manage, if you're fast enough, to shoot two into his mouth at the same time, as long as they're uh, fairly in the center. Um, but you got to do it real quick. you got to go run right at, one right after the other to get him in there. Otherwise, uh, one will hit his lip as uh, as the boss closes so so he falls there and and uh, he acts as a platform up to the next level so which I can't even jump up to because I'm such a klutz with the jump button um, like I said in the last episode I am using an emulator but I am using a controller um, I can't use the the keyboard and, and do this at the same time it, it, it doesn't work I'm not skilled enough to use both my hands on the keyboard in any kind of fashion to do all the running and jumping that I need. So there's uh, what should have been our first super missile. Um, as you notice, it's being held by the, the Chozo statue there. Um, almost like a gift, an offering to the mighty Samus. And uh, now how to actually get that without going through and beating the uh, Spore Spawn boss. Um, you have to have super missiles to get super missiles, okay? You can't get in here without it, because that block requires you to shoot it with super missiles. Um, and then you got to use the super missiles you get in, in there anyway to get back out. But um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to come to this area and you're going to bomb yourself in from the outside. Pretty easy to do. Just jump up, bomb a couple spots. Um, and then when you're in here, you're going to do a, a trick called the Crystal Flash, which I'll show you later. But it, at the end, it puts you in a crouching position so that you can actually fire at that uh, block there with your... Uh, super missile. When you're outside, the camera pans over to the uh, left too far, um, so you don't actually have access to that block to shoot it from the outside, unfortunately. So, alright, I'm going to click the uh, last couple of items that we're going to get here before we move on, and then I'm going to end this episode before we start moving to the next area. Um, in the next episode, we are going to move into uh, Red Brinstar and um, tackle the first main boss of the uh, game, and uh, he might look a little familiar to some of you, so let's go ahead and get to this green door over here, take it out, and then uh, go ahead and pause this and save state. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, 